Guys, behind me, I have a one of a kind 1996 Chevy Impala SS that we just finished wrapping in Flexi Shield gloss pitch black. The customer brought us the vehicle because he wasn't satisfied with the workmanship of the previous install, but also the quality of the finish of a standard vinyl film. So let's go back and take a look at how the vehicle came to us and what it took to get to the exceptional finished product. <laughs> All right guys, so we're gonna dive in a little bit deeper into what separates these films from each other. So on my left here, we have Avery Dennison gloss black, and on my right, we have Flexi Shield gloss black. Now, as you guys saw on the Impala, we are removing the Avery and reinstalling the Flexi Shield. The reason being is the customer came in on top of the wrap being done poorly, he's not very satisfied with the finish on it. And the reason is, Avery is a more traditional vinyl and it, it, it does have a lot of uh, orange peel or texture and that's always been the biggest complaint for a lot of consumers. Now this new technology guys, this is what we call dry apply PPF. They call it dry apply PPF because it's actually as thick as paint protection film, clear bra, whatever you may call it. It's eight mils thick. And then when you compare that to Avery, Avery's anywhere from three to four mils thick. So it's about twice the thickness. And what that does is that actually allows it to serve as more of a protection film while also changing the color compared to just a vinyl um, that doesn't serve a lot of protection purposes, especially on the front bumper when it's stretched because the three to four mils becomes even thinner. The reason the Flexi Shield has a much better finish than the Avery is mainly from this liner, guys. So the Avery comes on a traditional craft paper liner. It has the airgrass pattern etched into it, everything of that sort, but paper naturally has a grain to it. So the vinyl will absorb that grain and that texture, and that's what you end up seeing in the finished product. Flexi Shield has a polyethylene terephthalate liner, or PET liner as most people call it. And what this is, is actually plastic and it's not paper. So what that does, it is a, it is a completely smooth backing. And because of that, the film does not absorb any of that grain or texture into the finish. So when you combine all of these elements together, the Flexi Shield has a paint-like finish and will not add orange peel to the finish of a car. If you're working on a car that has natural orange peel in the paint, you can see some of that show through the film as it conforms to the paint. So the next thing guys is the color. So both of these colors are gloss black. Now the Avery has always had a little bit of a brown hue to it and that's just the dye in the film. In the case of this Impala, we were talking about these colors specifically because the car is wrapped in Avery Denison gloss black currently. When we compare that to the Flexi Shield here, this is a true deep black finish. So when you compare them side by side, it's very, very clear to see that most people would opt with the Flexi Shield gloss black just in terms of the finish. Now, because the Flexi Shield is twice as thick as the Avery, uh, from an installer standpoint, the Avery is much easier to use, much more conformable than the Flexi Shield. When you compare that to Flexi Shield, this film has a very aggressive adhesive. So right off the bat, it bites very, very hard on the paint. So there are special install techniques that you have to kind of adjust with really. If you let this film tack too soon, you try to pick it back up, you will get adhesive lines in the film and you wanna eliminate that as much as possible. So you just have to kind of alter your install strategy in comparison to the Avery Denison.
someone snapping in my ear. Can you do this? Can you do that? And I just can't do the original thing I'm doing. What can you do? Not shit, apparently. That's right. <laughs> you ain't gotta tell me. I've been trying to print this goddamn thing all day. Anyways, oh, Collins may not be able to do his job, but you know what we can do here? <laughs> we provide phenomenal work. Guys, the install, flawless corners, they looked, it looked great, all of it. And the customer called us back like an hour ago to let us know how happy he was with the product and he can't get over that what we did is so much better than what he previously received. We love to hear it, our customers love to get it, and at the end of the day, we're here to be the best of the best. Until next time guys, that's it.